Well, hello. It is fr Wednesday. Oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? I'm so tired. It is my 28 day mini check. <laughs> you can tell how tired I am. Let's start again, shall we? Welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days Art. You are watching one of my mini series 28 day challenge. This is day four of 24 and I am getting tireder and tireder and I'm getting less and less time to create, edit and upload. But the celebration is it is 11.30 p.m. on Wednesday the 23rd. So this will be finished and uploaded before I go to sleep tonight, which means you get to watch it. I get to go to work and when I get home, I have two hours to create another piece ready for the next day. But I believe I can do it. And when I look at my wall of positivity, colour, memories, pieces, it just makes me smile. So I encourage each and every one of you to go outside your comfort zone to create things on canvas that you don't know where it's going to take you like this one. You are seeing me just play with some colours that I think will work together in the right combination. Now I speeded and chopped this out a little bit, not to waste your time. The reason being I overcommitted, I didn't like it so I'm wiping it off just as you see in there. Don't be afraid to do that, I mean nobody wants to waste paint or anything like that. But when I washed it off or with a wet wipe, I just looked and thought, you know what, there is still a base colour there that I enjoy and I want to work with it and I want it to be quite rustic. I want this to be a backdrop for a uh, abstract piece. I mentioned before that I'm going into art journaling and uh, when I was doing this, I wasn't thinking that this was where it was going to go, but I just wanted to put paint on canvas. I wanted to be inspired and I really love this yellow and the green. It reminds me of lemon and lime. Would anybody like a cool drink, please? Yes, thank you. Malibu and Coke with some ice cubes. Anyway, yes, this is Delirious Sharon, but you're going to see me just work backwards and forwards, blending. I'm really enjoying um, having some bright colours and some blended out colours and I'm just trying to get the composition right and what I find really liberating about this is you just go on a journey and you just put a little bit on you work backwards and forwards I'm learning how to let go and not be precise and this kind of art is really nice when you've done um, a few intricate pieces like my Spanish dancer anyway I think this is a good time to say thank you so much for all of your support. If you're watching this video for the first time, thank you very much. If you think the video is worth while, please give me a thumbs up. Um, any shares or comments really help my channel. And also, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Now that good stuff's out of the way, in my descriptions, there is a link to each and every video that has come before this. There is no rhyme or reason to my methodology as far as what I'm painting next. I just go with what I'm inspired for on that day. And there is no topic that I'm particularly doing within this challenge. It is just really about trying to find my zen when I'm creating, to reconnect with my brushwork, to reconnect with art, and to take the pressure off me. I am known more on YouTube for my resin artwork. I've mentioned it before. I'm having a big conscious dilemma internally when it comes to resin. I absolutely love it and resin will still be a part of my channel. It's just not going to be what all my work's about. I'm passionate about my brush skills and I'm passionate about learning. I'm passionate about all different types of media. But because there is a big... Um, following of resin and some people are creating amazing work and I am super proud to see uh, the different designs that are coming up out there and they do inspire me but for me I am conscious of resin being at its raw basic plastic and I don't want to be using it so much for making coasters one because I've never managed to perfect my coaster's worse and is not going to get ring marks on it. But also the stress of working with resin, whether it be the chemicals, whether it be the sticky mess, the expense, whether it be that it's very hard to get a perfection perfectionist piece. Dust in there is what I'm referring to. But more than anything, I want to make my art purposeful. So if I'm going to work with resin, I want it to be on somebody's wall. I want it to last a while. I want somebody to enjoy it. Uh, I don't want it to be disregarded in 12 months. Uh, and 
that conscious about our environment. I really didn't think that that's, this was going to come out of my mouth this evening. So I didn't want to be all heavy. This is just my own journey. And I am going to do a video after this to share a little bit more. But I am about to start talking about the next stage to this. So I'm going to shut up and let Sharon speak to you. Speak after this. Bye bye. So this is the next day. I painted this backdrop last thing last night to give it a chance to um, dry. And I also ran out of time. But I'm turning this into a slight mixed media little project. So this is the canvas as it is. Quite like it. Love those colours. Very, very nice. What I am thinking of doing is a napkin. I've taken out a butterfly, cut it out, and I'm going to merge him in here somewhere. But I'm going to stamp in black ink behind it so it looks like he's landing on um, the little bit of flowers and hopefully that'll give a dramatic effect or not but it's okay this is for me and then what I'm going to do is edge uh, for a little bit of um, coarse um, moulding paste uh, there just to give a little texture I'm not too sure if I'm going to go all the way up uh, but I want to see that colour through there so I'm thinking maybe there and doing that edge there and I'm going to choose a few positive words out of this book here to put on that because that's where I see this is a little motivational mini canvas. Um, is it decoupage? I don't know. But anyway, a positive affirmation board that bounces this positive energy of these colours. Anyway, let's get on with this, Sharon. So I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but it didn't go to plan. I was going to do some... Um, Hot, like crafting paste and create a little pattern down the side it didn't work so I rubbed it off and I didn't want to waste your time because time's precious but I still wanted to have something down the side there to layer it to be abstract so I came in with a one of those amazing acrylic pens that I've fallen in love with I will be buying some more of those and Rebecca have you used any yet well no you can't because you've not purchased them yet but when you do I still want to know. Uh, just want to send my love out as well to each and every person that is showing their support. I hope your families are doing better today. I hope you're well. I hope you're having fun uh, and creating. And if not, I hope the world is a bit kinder to you tomorrow than it is today. Um, where am I? I stuck with that blue pen because that's what digressed and took me on a journey and I still enjoyed having that down the side so I chose to leave that. I still didn't know where it was going to go. I got my Mod Podge then and I have stuck my napkin butterfly on there. Now if you didn't want it transparent you could have left three layers on and it would have probably been more bold but I wanted the underneath to come through just as feature. It wasn't about realism or anything like that. I put some uh, watercolour pigments I hope I've said that right I'll, I'll, I'm going to do a video on them because they're really nice I basically sprayed in the corner layer it set I'm now going around the edging of my butterfly just to try and highlight him and again it's not realism or anything like that it's just fun but here are the positive words that look on the bright side believe in yourself and that's because of those bright colours in there and trying to be happy. Well, when I said trying to be happy, that sounds like I'm not. But always look on the bright side, life of Brian. And work with some beautiful colours in your art. Let it take you on a journey. Let it inspire you. But I really enjoyed this. And it's um, not a snippet of what's to come, but I am going to be dabbling more in... Um, some art journaling because this kind of thing will inspire future projects now I want to work with this color scheme again next in one of my resin projects that will be coming your way shortly but nothing more to really explain I come in with some more uh, fluoro pinks I've got a little crush on fluoro pink just within the uh, left edge just to go in those blue stencils that I've done and I think that's just to bring it all together to help it pop and to just add a little balance. I put some on. I felt, as I do, 
I added too much and then I pulled it back with just a little bit of tissue and water. Uh, but really happy with the end result. I hope you enjoyed this journey. I hope I'm keeping you on your toes because you never know what you're going to find. And I am about to stop talking because I recorded the very end where you get to see it all together. But I love the promise of those stencils um, or, or should I say those stamps and watch out for some videos coming up with this colour scheme and Paula there is only a little bit of green but if you think about it it's really just lemon and lime lemon and lime goes really nice with drinks so I think you'll forgive me anyway on that bombshell I will log out I'm going to edit this now so it can go up to YouTube and then I will go to sleep so have a great evening bye bye Apologies for the shower, shower, the, the shadow I meant. That's what happens when you come home from work late and I don't have time to really set up my lights properly. However, I really enjoyed this. It took me on a journey and I never knew what, what was going to be with this. I just knew I wanted to do something abstract, just play around with colour. I love my lemon, lemon and citrus, um, lemon, lemon and lime, which I say. And it was just really fun. And I think it's a positive message. Look on the bright side and believe in yourself. And I don't know. I just really love it. I mean, the pink here just tied it all in nicely to me. Very abstract, you could say flower colours. I love the little stamp, the message. The butterfly, I, I enjoyed painting my own butterfly. However, sticking them on with a little bit of Mod Podge uh, from some napkins absolutely added to the um, creative flow on this. So it's kind of, is it art journaling on a canvas board? Is it decoupage on a canvas board? Is it just abstract? I don't know. But I really enjoy it. So let's have a little look. Tonight we have time to show you the board as it is. It still makes me laugh that because it looks like some kind of weird abstract alien dog. Uh, love her and her journey with her hand. There's so many memories, <laughs> frustrations, happy moments with this. And we are on the last four. Is it four? It is, isn't it? 23, 24. Yeah. We're on the last four. I wonder what they could be. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the horse on this one, um, Paula. Uh, but I promise I will attempt to do one if I don't. And the only reason being is I've got to do it when I get home from work and I only have a couple of hours to fit everything in. And with that, I think it's going to take me hours, like the dancer. <laughs> anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Come back and see me. If you've not seen my little mini challenge, go back and have a look at the journey. Uh, latter part of it I put voiceovers on because that's what you wanted but the first part was me just getting into that process but if there's anything you like and you want a tutorial let me know but I hope wherever you are you are safe and well you are inspired to create and if you have done anything that's been inspired by myself remember hashtag Sharon and inspired me thank you also um Paula uh Rebecca little Lulu uh we have um um, so many people that's been uh, sending positive vibes in these wonders from wonders blessed creations yeah if you are a youtuber like me that it's not necessarily a big youtube channel but you do it because you love sharing with other people and you want people to go and have a look at your channel put your name down there and if you haven't played with color and just done something like this for yourself just do it it's only by doing will you learn some skills and it's all about pleasing yourself anyway I'm getting off my high horse and I'll see you later. And it's 9.30 p.m. I've now got to edit all this, upload it to YouTube and start creating one for tomorrow. And the circle of art continues.